He who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king as his friend. Here's a simple formula for success. Inspired advice to advance you vocationally and relationally. In these few words, God outlines how you can rise above the average to greatness. A person with a pure heart and gracious speech is chosen by leaders as their friend. Start with a pure heart. A heart free from bitterness and envy, hypocrisy, malice, pride, selfishness. Such hearts use gracious words. Acceptable, agreeable, courteous, forgiving, gentle, kind, merciful, pleasing words. The combination of a pure heart and gracious speech is so rare that those in leadership are instantly and deeply drawn to it. Graciousness is a beautifying character trait. A gracious person is often described as a beautiful person or a charming person. Whether man or woman, graciousness makes a person pleasant to be with. It's rare and sweet pleasure to meet a gracious person. People of gracious speech, they're a pleasure to be around and and you crave their company. If you want to advance, to grow, to prosper in your profession and in your relationships, spend as much time with people of pure hearts and gracious speech as you can. Spend enough time with those kind of people and something will happen to you. You will become one of those kind of people. Solomon asked God for wisdom to lead his people and of course God gave him that. But this word, he who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king as his friend. Where did that come from? I suspect that had as much to do with what he knew about the relationship of his father to the heir of the throne, Prince Jonathan. I suspect that Solomon remembered hearing about how David's gracious speech had won Jonathan as a best friend and a lifelong pal. Though David was just a shepherd, the Prince Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Why? Because David's heart was free from ambition, free from pride, free from selfishness. Be gracious. Let your speech always be gracious, nurturing, and lifting to those in your life. Do not allow critical, hard, and negative words to come out of your mouth foolishly. Don't be demanding, harsh, proud, or severe unless circumstances call for it. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Solomon said that wise men speak graciously, but fools destroy themselves with their words. Lord knows, I've played the part of the fool more times than I care to admit. In foolishness, I've been harsh, obnoxious, unreasonable, the exact opposite of gracious. Kings delight in righteous speech. They want counselors and ambassadors that advise and represent them well. And we, are Christ's ambassadors. Christian, I believe that if we will be more gracious in our speech, others will be more attracted to our faith. He who loves purity of heart and whose speech is gracious will have the king as his friend. King Jesus, I am honored to be your friend. Help me to honor you with purity of heart and gracious speech. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.